Right now, I'm going to show you a handy way of remembering all the cranial nerves. There are 12 of them. The first one is olfactory. Second one is optic. Third one is oculomotor. The fourth one is trochlear. Fifth is trigeminal. Um, six is abducens. Seven is facial. Eight is vestibulocochlear. Nine is glossopharyngeal. 10 is vagus, 11 is accessory, and 12 is hypoglossal. And so those can be kind of hard to remember, so I'm going to show a cute way, of, a cute and easy way of remembering them. So I'm going to start with number 7, so if I can see it. So this is going to be the outline of the face, because number 7 is the facial nerve. Then we have number one is the olfactory nerve, which has to do with smell. This is number two for the optic nerve, which gives you vision. And um, two of the cranial nerves, four and six, deal with um, moving the eye. So basically, movement that allows you to look left and right and all those different things. So I'm going to put them as eyelashes. So it's just a, a memory trigger that they have to deal with the eye. And same thing with number three. I make them eyebrows because they also have to deal with, um, you know, movement and wiggling of the eyes, um, which is the oculomotor. Um, num the number eight is the vestibulocochlear, which has to do with hearing. So I'm making eight the ears. And then... Trigeminal is kind of a hard one, but I make it like the mouth um, because it has to do a lot with like the mouth region. Because uh, let's see, like number five is trigeminal, and most of it has to do with um, like the upper jaw, teeth, gums, nasal cavity. Um, let's see, gums, two thirds of tongue, cheek, and something here was about chewing and all oh, the soft palate, the throat. So it all, that all really has to do with, like, the mouth region. Even though it's a lot, it's just, it's not supposed to be perfect, just a memory trigger. And then I make number 11 the neck because number 11, let's flip back here, was the accessory. And it's showing here, like, the, the sternocleidomastoid. So it says motor to sternocleidomastoid, which is really in the neck region. So I'm just making that in the neck. Um, number 10 was the vagus nerve. I just kind of put like a big X because the vagus nerve has to do with all your internal organs and everything. So I just kind of like put a big X. X is a Roman numeral for 10. So the vagus nerve is mostly the internal organs. Then um, I'm going to draw. This is hard to draw with one arm. Um, this is going to be number nine. And I'll show you in a second when I get there. He's going to be holding number nine, and it's going to put a little squiggle to make it look like a lollipop, because number nine is the glossopharyngeal nerve, which has to do with taste, so I made it a lollipop because, you know, you taste a lollipop. So yeah, I hope this helps you guys remember the cranial nerves, one for smelling, two for vision, three, four, and six for eye movement, um, five was mostly having to do with the mouth region and the throat and, and the jaw. Seven is the facial nerve. Eight, the vestibule cochlear for hearing. Eleven, um, the accessory for the neck, the sternocleidomastoid. Ten, vagus nerve. And nine for taste, which is the glossopharyngeal.